click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, in this video, I want to talk about how real men don't cry over women, okay? Real men do not cry over women. So, when I say cry, I mean anywhere for anything from just complaining about chicks to actually, literally, tears coming out your eyes crying. Right now, I'm not going to sit here and act like I've never cried over a chick, like literally cried, because I have. You know, that was back when I was being on some bitch ass nigga shit. You understand? And the thing is, you don't realize you want some bitch ass shit until after the fact most of the time. But while you're in this situation, you're, you're sitting there, and you're crying over some chick because, you know, she didn't want to be with you. She played you. She ghosted you, whatever it was, right? And see, the reason why you're crying over this chick is because what happens is, is that when something goes down, like let's say for example, you was messing with a chick and you liked her or whatever, or this is your girlfriend, you loved her, whatever it is, and she wants to leave you, or she's like, you know, or let's say she cheated on you, whatever it was, right? You start to feel hurt because it's a blow to your ego. And also what happens is, is that you start to feel funny because whatever insecurity you might have of you not being enough or you not being good enough or whatever it is, it starts to, that insecurity gets bigger. So you're like, oh man, she probably cheated on me because you know, I don't have enough money or I'm not good looking enough or whatever, whatever it is, right? So you start feeling that way and then you start getting emotional and then you start crying and all this other shit. You see what I'm saying? And so what happens is, is that you start getting all emotional about what happened in the situation, but it's not really even about the chick. You understand what I'm saying? It's about you. It's about you coming face to face with your insecurities. You understand? And see, even if you, you have guys who are crying about women in the sense of complaining about them, right? So for example, you got a lot of these dudes, you know, like the, the MGTOW dudes, or you know, you have some incels or whoever else who's just always constantly bitching about chicks, complaining about women, crying about women. See, real men don't do that shit. See, listen, what men understand, what, what, what a real guy with game understands, is that women are just gonna be women. I remember my dude, Miles Cunningham said years ago, he said, never forget she's a female. You understand? Never forget that. And I think a lot of guys be forgetting that because also what happens is a lot of guys try to hold women to the standards of men, meaning that when a woman does something, a guy thinks about it and says, well, if I would have done that, it would have meant this. So when she does that, she he thinks that what she's doing means what he would have done if he did what she did. So for example, let's say, you know, like the chick, I don't know, like let's say she fucking uh, flaked on the guy on the date or some shit, or let's say she stopped calling him or whatever and all this other stuff, right? So the guy's thinking, oh man, well, I would flake or I wouldn't call the girl back because I don't know, because I don't I don't like the way she looked or some or or you know her head game sucked. Right now, there's certain times women will do that where she's just not interested. But at the same time, you have to understand that women are gonna just do things just to do them for reasons that most of you guys would never understand. Right? So for example, a woman might end up flaking on you because she doesn't actually feel pretty enough to go on a date with you. Some of y'all don't understand this. She might say, oh, my hair looks fucked up. So I'm just gonna flake on this guy, right? Or it could be a situation where you wanted to hook up with it, you give her some dick. And again, she's not feeling sexy. 
she might think she put on, uh, 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 you know, too much weight and shit. Now she don't want to get undressed, right? I remember, I remember I listened to this comedian once and he was like how women will act that way. But he was like, you never see a dude complain about being too fat to get a blowjob. Like a, a guy's not going to be like, hey lady, you know, I know, I know you want to suck my dick, but <laughs> I'm, I'm too fat to blow. Like you'll never hear a guy say that. But women will do shit like that where because they're not feeling it, right? They don't want to fuck. You understand what I'm saying? Because they're in a certain mood, they're gonna basically react a certain way. So this is why you can't necessarily compare how you would have reacted or the reason why you reacted to the way they react to shit. So you have to just understand that women are gonna do things for a number of different reasons. Now, again, there are some times where they would react how you would react about something, but even then it don't matter. It don't matter. Because what you have to understand is, is that as a man, you gotta be always looking forward, moving forward, doing what you do, and never, ever, ever, ever let your happiness or your sense of well being or you enjoying your life be dependent on a woman. You understand what I'm saying? I, I listen, I, I talked about that in. Uh, one of my first books, The Magnificent Ten Crucial Dating Tips for Men, who I was saying that, you know, you don't need women to enjoy your life. You understand? Like, it's enjoyable when you're kicking it with them, hooking up with them, you got a cool girlfriend, wife, whatever it is. That's great. But you don't need it. So what happens is that if you don't have it, you shouldn't be sitting there depressed or if you lose a chick that you're fucking with and she bounces or she's gone or you have to charge her to the game or she charged you to the game whatever the fuck it is don't worry about it like you don't need to cry about that see the crying again is really about your insecurity you understand what i'm saying the crying is about you feeling like you can't be happy without this girl the crying is about you being extremely attached to the woman and that attachment is what's making you suffer. See, you don't realize that you just need to enjoy the moment when you're with the woman and then let it be what it's gonna be. Now, it's not to say that if you was really, you know, had a good time with a chick and let's say you've been with a girl for like three, four years and you have a breakup, it's not like you're not gonna be sad about the shit, right? But what I'm saying is, is that for you to sit there and just be crying and sniffling and, you know, going all crazy right because she left you or she don't want to be with you no more bruh you know i, I see i see it. <laughs> there's a lot of videos on youtube that i've seen where there are guys literally on camera crying about their girl breaking up with them crying about their girl not wanting to be with them like tears all up in the camera and all that other shit and see what a lot of these guys are doing is they're trying to get sympathy. You know, they're trying to get sympathy from, from everybody else plus the woman that basically left them. They're like, oh baby, come back, I'm sorry, I need you, all this other stuff, right? What they don't realize is that them doing that is not gonna get the girl back. That's gonna push her further away. Even if she was thinking about getting back with the dude, she's like, hell no now because this motherfucker is weak as shit. Now she's like, I'm glad I left this dude. Right? And, and the thing is, I'm sure a lot of these guys, after they got over the situation, and they look back on the videos of them crying and shit, they probably sitting there shaking their head like, God damn, I was on some bitch ass nigga shit. Like, what the fuck was I thinking? Because what happens is that they get past the situation. They're no longer attached to the chick. Right? Because that's all it really is. It's the... It's that attachment they have to the woman that makes them feel those feelings, that makes them start to cry, that makes them, you know, start to get all emotional. See, a lot of these guys out here on the internet that's complaining about women all the time, and every video is women this and women that, and oh, women that, and women are gonna do this to you, and yada, 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 and all this other crazy shit, right? A lot of these guys are complaining because they don't really have game right they have issues 
dealing with women. And so a lot of it is like, you know, it's a hit to their ego. They really want to get things going with women, but a lot of their experiences are women playing them, women doing a whole bunch of crazy shit, and they still haven't learned any game, which is why they continue to be in a cycle of bullshit, or they just all together say, you know what, I'm, I'm tired of fucking with this shit. And then they talk about, I'm gonna go monk mode, and I don't need to deal with these women, and you know, I'm just gonna go overseas, and these other girls are, are better because they treat you better overseas and all that other stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, dudes is like, oh, I'm just gonna start tricking. It's just, it's just all of this shit that guys do when they're complaining, bitching, whining, and moaning about a woman. But this is what I'm saying is that you guys have to understand that none of that ain't really about shit. It's not really about shit. When a chick wants to leave, let her go. If a chick's not responding to your text, call it a day. When the girls start acting funny, fall back. You understand? Why are you crying over her? Who the fuck is she? You understand what I'm saying? You was good before you met her, right? So why are you not good after you met her? And again, it's not about her. This is why I say the game is not about women. See, it's about you. So again, you, there's something inside you. There's something that you haven't worked on. There's some fear you have. There's some insecurity that's going on as to why you're crying and bitching and moaning about this chick. Whether it's literal tears or just you getting on the internet you know, starting a channel calling yourself MGTOW so-and-so. You understand? You got issues. It ain't about what the chick did. It's about your response to what the chick did. You understand what I'm saying? It's about your response because guess what? There's another nigga who was in the same exact position as you, where he was with a chick that he loved and he thought was cool and all that other stuff. And then the chick did something Played him, she stopped fucking with him, whatever it was, and he just let that shit go. But when it happened to you, you was crying, you was sniffling and shit, you started a whole YouTube channel, now you got half a million subscribers and shit because you got a bunch of other bitch ass niggas on the internet talking about, oh, these women are this and that because they don't know how to fucking be real men. You know what I'm saying? They have to cry over a bitch. You see, so what I'm saying is, is that enjoy your time with the women, right? Have fun, do what you gotta do, right? And you just keep it moving. That's it. You you you, you came into the situation good, you leave out the situation good, you, you're good. You understand what I'm saying? See, a lot of dudes, you know, they look at it like they always say, you know, she's, she's not, what is it? Uh, she's not yours, it's just your turn. Right? And, and and I get it, I get that that quote, but what I what I find interesting about that quote, um, and I think my dude EO talked about this too. I'm not sure, but I remember him talking about this too, where something about that quote, uh, it still kind of feels very cope like. You understand? Like, oh well, she's not yours, it's just your turn because it's sort of like the band-aid over it. It's like, you know, oh well. Let me try to cope with this situation and, and look at it that way, right? Now, you know, I get that, but at the same time, what happens is, is that you have to really be about that though. You have to really just be fully immersed in the moment. That's what it's about. You have to be fully engaged and immersed in the moment. Because a lot of times when dudes will be like, oh, well, she's not yours, it's just your turn or whatever. They're still in the back of their head a lot of times. They're thinking about the fact that at some point it's not gonna be their turn. You understand what I'm saying? So when you're thinking about it's not gonna be your turn at a certain point, you're not in the moment. You're actually thinking about when it's not gonna be your turn. You see what I'm saying? So don't worry about, oh, it's, you know, it's just my turn or it's not gonna, you know, you know, it's just all that other shit. Just be in the motherfucking moment. When the moment is done, you let it be free. You let her be free. Okay, cool. You understand what I'm saying? And see, when you understand this beforehand, when you understand how this works, you know, before you start getting all caught up, then it's going to be easier for you to handle.
You understand what I'm saying? So you won't be sitting there in your bathroom, in the shower, you know, in the fetal position, crying. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't do that shit, all right? So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'll holla at y'all later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace, I'm gone. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.